Parents often try to shield their children from tragedies such as this, protect them from the frightening images. But with the pictures all over TV, it can be hard. Seeing the scenes of horror at school very much like theirs can be traumatic, and parents do need to talk about it with their children. Dr. John LaPook is with us now, and John, you wonder, how do you start that conversation with a child? Scott, the first thing is parents have to acknowledge it happened. Yes, a terrible thing happened, but for you, for you, the world is still a safe place. Your school is still a safe place. And parents have to understand that depending on the developmental stage of their kid, they may have a different response. So a young child may be anxious. A teenage boy may have bravado. If I had a gun, I would have just blown him away. Throughout it all, they have to keep the lines of communication open, and they have to most of all stay calm. What should parents be doing this weekend? Scott, it's so important to maintain a sense of routine and to show the children that the world has not fallen apart. So whatever they were going to do, they should still do. If they were going to go to a movie, that's okay. If they're going to do exercise, that's fine. The one thing they probably should not do is children should not watch TV. They don't need to see all those images over and over again, especially if their parents aren't around to help interpret them. And what about the long run? Scott, Communication is the most important thing. People talk about talking to your children. The most important thing is to listen to them. And nobody's going to know your kids better than you. Look out for those special little signs. Is there a personality change? Is there anxiety? Is there a problem sleeping? If you notice any of these things, you may need to have some professional help. John, thanks very much.